guys it's rose welcome or welcome back to the channel i'm so happy to have you here with me today i am going to be moving at the time that i upload this so in today's video i thought it would be really fun for me to replicate my real life apartment in animal crossing I am going to head over to Harv's Island and I am going to be building kind of like a studio apartment in one room with you guys today. So the first part of my apartment I am going to be working on is my kitchen and I tried to find furniture items that were as close of a match to my apartment in real life but of course the items in the Animal Crossing game are a little bit limited so I just did the best I could on some parts. Next, I tried to find a flooring that looked most similar to the one in my apartment, and it's really light wood planks, and I couldn't find one that exactly matched, so I just went with one that was the most similar. And now I am rearranging my kitchen furniture in the same format that it is in my real apartment. It's a little bit more spaced out in my real apartment, but when you walk in the front door, you're greeted by a kitchen and an island. The room next to my kitchen is my living room and we have an L-shaped sectional. It's actually gray, but I don't have a gray couch in my catalog. So I used a neutral brown one instead. And I sectioned off the rooms where there's actual like separate bedrooms and bathrooms with simple panels. And of course these would be walls in real life, but I just did what I could in Animal Crossing. And then we have a bed with all white sheets in our bedroom, so I felt like the antique bed most closely matched that. And now I'm getting out some bathroom furniture items from my catalog, as well as a couple more pieces of furniture for my sink in my kitchen. I was trying to figure out how I was going to use the simple panels to block off a bathroom, but after rearranging them a couple times, I think I found a format that worked for me. Now I am adding some accessories to the wall. Personally, I love a lot of decorations. I have a ton of mirrors, shelves, picture frames, and plants. I think it's funny because I have like a very foresty island in Animal Crossing, but I also really love to use plants in my house. I have a ton of succulents and ferns and all kinds of plants all over my house because I just love the green. So I represented that by putting some plants in my kitchen. I also put an espresso machine in my kitchen because I cannot start my day without a cup of coffee. So with limited counter space in Animal Crossing, I figured I put the most important stuff. have a brown wood TV console table in my living room but I added a white log shelf in Animal Crossing because I thought it would look cute for the build. In our entryway we are going to have a little place to put shoes and coats so I just put a coat rack right by the entrance.
I like to use a lot of neutral colors when I decorate my own house, so I figured I'd stick with that same theme in Animal Crossing too. So you'll see me use a lot of the white neutral rugs in this build. see me adding some of my plants that I have. I love putting green plants all around my apartment. And of course in my living room I had to add my Nintendo Switch. Very necessary for making YouTube videos, live streaming, and just having a fun chill Saturday playing Animal Crossing and redoing your island for the 57th time. <laughs> I also put some shelves and art on the wall in my living room and my bedroom. I tried to find ones that would be the most similar to what I would use in real life for my apartment. I thought about using the log bed in the bedroom, but really that antique bed looks the most to what we have in real life. And in my apartment layout, we actually have a closet and laundry room in the middle of our bedroom and bathroom. It's kind of hard to explain, but I didn't know what to do with this middle area between the bathroom and bedroom. And I thought at first about putting an antique table there, but then I realized I could put a washer and dryer there and it would be as close to my apartment as possible. And then I ended up putting a log bench in front of my bed with a cushion and some socks on it. We have a little footstool in real life in front of my bed that we don't really keep anything on, but I just thought the decorations would look cute for this build. And then I also added some shoes to the entrance of the little apartment as well because I usually keep my shoes that I take my dog outside in, like my slippers. I usually keep them in a closet by the entrance, so I thought I would do that in the build as well. And then I also added a little coat to the wall because I keep my winter coat in that closet too. To represent having a closet in the middle of our bathroom and bedroom, I figured I'd just put a little shelf with some clothes hanging up. I know it's not exactly like a closet, but it's kind of the closest I could do with the amount of space I had in one room. And finally, I'm just adding a couple more paintings and wall decorations to make a little art wall behind my bedroom and just really finish off the space.
I'm not very good with people. If you don't start a conversation, we won't have one. And here are some final shots of replicating my real life apartment in Animal Crossing turned out. Depression creeps up on you quietly. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider giving it a like and leaving a comment below if you did. It does so much to help the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye you guys!